Good afternoon. I wanted to make a quick video to help anyone who wants to make your bot return an image. Took me a few rounds of questions and the lovely assistance of uh, Ronel Rad and Tomas Pazitech, but I wanted to go ahead and create a video to help everyone else. So the first thing is, is whenever you get started, um, it's important to start with your image and the thing is with your image is it needs to be in a URL format and it needs to be accessible to the public. So as you're troubleshooting through that, basically when you get your URL, if you try to pop it into a website and you don't get that image back, it's not going to work in your flow. It's a good test point. Um, how you get there is save your image to a blob storage through Azure blob storage. That's what I did. I tried SharePoint in OneDrive. Um, but it couldn't work. So that's what I tried. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I did. So as you can see here on my screen, um, I'm just at a topic and a question and you can start this anywhere. What you'll do is you're going to do a call and action. This will bring up a list of previously created flows and an option to create a new one. So we're going to go ahead and create a new one. This is going to go ahead and bring up the automatic format that you can use. So we just need an output. So I'm going to select uh, the type of output. We'll do a text, but then we're going to use some markup language. So for now, we're going to call this image. And then we're going to type in name and put this in some closed brackets. And then we're going to grab the URL uh, that you previously tested that I talked about before. So that's what we're going to use in here. And you're going to do a parenthesis. There's no space between the bracket and the parenthesis. It's just, just. So I'm going to copy this. Same process. Let me jump right back here. Okay. Right now I see writing. Okay. And then, like I said, I'm going to close this with a bracket here and I'll hit save. And okay. So let me go back here, but then I'm going to change this name and I would suggest that you do this too because Power Virtual Agent Flow Template is not descriptive and I wouldn't maybe necessarily know what to pull out of that list. So here I'm gonna call this writing image because that's what I'm trying to return in my chat situation. Great, let's jump back in here. So now when I call an action now, you see this writing image is available. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and then after we put this part in here, the next thing that we need to do is we need to have it show that back. So we're going to do show a message. And then now because this did a very created a variable, that's what we're going to ask it to present here as well. And so you know, with good nomenclature, you can obviously change this name to here and say, this is going to be writing. And then obviously you see this is much more descriptive opposed to image and image one. So we can do that. And save it. And our dialogue has saved. So now this will prompt us here. I have this set up before. So we'll say ELA, writing. It pulled up our writing image at, so as